so inside this little uh, package here is a whole bunch of memory, and inside this is a bunch of dust, which I need to clean off very quickly. We'll cut this guy open with a utility knife, and then this is our server here. There's a cat. So, um, again, nice and easy. So you can see here, another lovely information set for basic maintenance. So here's our server with all of its memory currently installed. And this will completely replace all of the memory currently installed on the system. Uh, over here we have um, the <coughs> input card for a NVIDIA Tesla compute node, ancient technology, but um, in fact that whole node is about as powerful as my GTX 1080 Ti, so uh, not extraordinarily powerful by today's standards, but when it was constructed, or when it was assembled, as it were, uh, it was quite quite a force to be reckoned with. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do here is get all this memory out. Well, it's better than it was. So uh, what I'm going <coughs> to have to do here is, uh, this only has 20 slots, <coughs> and there are 24 modules here. Um, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take out the 20 put them in this and I'll put a few of these guys in and uh, then I'll just like cycle them around basically if it makes any sense so let's go ahead here and start popping these Doing this one handed is fun. So we can see, we get our first memory block out. So how this works actually, for those that are not familiar with how server hardware works, um, this is a processor, this is a processor. So the system actually has two CPUs installed, two CPU sockets. It can function with one, um, but it's designed to run with two. Um, this memory here that I just pulled out, as well as, what the hell is on my arm? Oh, it's just a freckle. Um, as well as this memory up to here um, is all for this processor. And then the mirror on the other side goes to this processor. And then there's a chip somewhere on here um, that basically... Uh, Ha helps to have these two processors communicate and evenly distribute or try to evenly distribute uh, loads for processes running on them. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, uninstall the next uh, 14 modules here and uh, start installing the other memory. So I'll be uh, back in a couple of minutes with that. All right, so this is what 160 gigabytes of RAM looks like. And here we still have another 32 gigs, but uh, I don't obviously have any more room for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and install up through this amount. I'm gonna leave that alone for the moment. Um, so let's go ahead here. This in my hands here is 768 gigabytes of RAM. So. Let us open this up, and I'll show you what that exactly looks like. I do have to say this was packed quite well. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about bubble wrap on the inside. Um, I guess it shouldn't hurt anything, but uh, I do know that bubble wrap can build static electricity, so... Yeah, I'm not sure how I felt about that, but that's alright. And this, my friends, is 768 gigabytes of RAM. Which is nice because these all have heat spreaders on them. That's actually really quite nice. That should actually help quite a, quite significantly with the thermal loading on this system. 
So, uh, obviously we're gonna start with here and here. We'll ignore this bit for now. So uh, let me get to work on that. Uh, okay, I'm gonna need two hands for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and install these guys and I will get back to you in, in a moment. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, actually, fun fact about this. 32, 64, 96, 128. This right here, these four modules, is 128 gigabytes of RAM. Each module is the same as four of the previous modules I had installed. So... <laughs> Boop. So at this point, with just that memory there, that is the same amount of memory, 192 gigabytes, that the entire system had before. And that is in a single block of memory. That's in half the memory for one processor. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. All right, so that is one processor maxed out for memory. Uh, technically speaking, these are 32 gigabytes each. I could get 64 gigabytes each. As that stands, this is 384 gigabytes of RAM. I'll go ahead and get these guys out and placed into the uh, container that they were in. All right, so that's done now. Now back to installation of memory. Another 384 gigabytes of RAM to slap into the system. Boop, 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 boopity. Bop, bonk, bop, and all done. So, there is 768 gigabytes of RAM. Before we run along, I did end up transplanting all of the previous memory into this very, very densely packed uh, container here. So um, I guess I could have distributed it evenly so it wouldn't be like one-sided weight, but um, that allows me to nicely and safely store with a lid even. Uh, my memory. I'm going to actually take some of this memory and put it into my network attached storage that we uh, saw me ape a maintenance for that the other day. Um, but um, other than that, most of this memory is going to just sit and be um, basically replacement memory if I have a failure of any type. So, all right, so here we are back with this guy set up. I'm actually going to test this. Uh, from my desk. Uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and clean up the rest of my mess downstairs. But this guy is powered and ready to go. So once I got everything started back up, I went ahead and tested the memory, which all checked out. And then I created a Windows 10 virtual machine just to see that memory in action all in one spot. This was definitely really fun to look at. I had to cut a fair bit of data out of this image because I'm not really a big fan of revealing my internal network structure to the public. Uh, but this has an overview of the server as well as showing the machine running under load. Lastly, here's a screenshot from one of the VMs that actually runs on here. Um, this was the entire reason that I needed to upgrade the memory capacity on the server to begin with. Uh, now I can run everything at the same time, which is absolutely fantastic. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you'd like to see more content like this on my channel alongside my gaming content, I'd encourage you to drop a like on the video, leave a comment with any feedback you might have, and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see future content like this. With that being said, I'd like to thank you for spending some of your time here with me today, and have a fantastic day. Take care, and stay safe. Bye-bye.